Hello everyone, this is a step 5 and second video. Second video will start from step 5, access control. Apache's access control is very simple. Here, number 1, order, allow, and deny. Or, order, deny, allow. Allow, deny means first allow and the last will be denied to access. And uh, order deny allow mean the first deny and then the last will be allowed to access. For example, number two, var www slash html. This is a directory name. So here there is access control. Order allow deny deny and allow from dot example dot com deny from station two example. In this case. The host to use the domain example.com will be allowed to access this directory, but only station to that example.com will be denied to access this directory. Okay, then let's test. Okay, first let's uh, test uh, from the configuration file. Line number 903 here, there's directory server status and order here, okay, like this, order deny allow, deny from all, so all network cannot be accessed to this directory, but only local host can be allowed to access this directory. One more example, here, server info, this is also the name of the directory to show some information about the Apache servers. This one is also has access control like this. So in this case, deny allow. So deny from first. So all network cannot be accessed to this directory, but only 192.168.80.10. In my case, 80.10 is a kind of the client IP address. So from client can be accessed to this directory, but the address cannot. Okay, then let's test. PD restart. Okay, open the browser. So here I will test like this local host. Then in this case, I can see my the index file, index HTML. Okay, here www.chal.com so here server status okay no problem so here server status the directory so shows some information about our status now but here let's try uh, chal.com server status so in this case, in my case, 192.168.10, it's a kind of client system. So here, forbidden, like this. Okay, then now the second example, server info. But the server info is okay to access. Those two, in this directory, I can see some informations for the Apache servers. But, here, char.com server info. In this case, forbidden because so here, AT25, it means this directory server info only is allowed to access from only 192.168.10 so no problem to access like this this is uh, access control for Apache okay CGI CGI is a common gateway interface and normally CGI support dynamic contents for web servers for example if we want to support the CGI in this case you can use like this in the configuration file you can add this kind of line script alias cgi bin barww cgi bin it means in the browser cgi bin show the cgi the files but 
even if you can see the discount directory, but this directory, the point slash var slash ww slash cgi be in the system. So if we want to support the CGI in this case, just put CGI files here, var ww slash cgi. Then you can see CGI files in direct in the browser. And here there are four, three modules for CGI I want to recommend. Mode per this Modules support super fast dynamic contents for Perl script. And more modules on the PHP. Also, this one, the X rate PHP code to Apache servers. And the mode spelling, this one normally attempt to correct mistake URLs. In the URL, if there is a mistake, then this module try to support attempt correct mistakes okay step seven that hd access file that hd access is a kind of directory authentications directory authentication mean you need idm password for specific directory access so first if we want to configure this one in the specific directory, you need these two options, allow, override, and us config. For example, in my case, uh, I will use the .ht access for Linux user. So if I try to access the Linux user's home directory like this, I need this file, .ht access. So here, us name, us type, us user file require user Linux. Us name just uh, is a uh, uh, expression or uh, explain about this uh, directory. And the us type basic. And uh, this basic means the base, the 64 encoding and decoding method. And us user file. And if you want to access this directory, you need to be register this file using HT password. So all users who want to access this directory need to be registered to this directory. So to make this file, you need HT password command. And the require user Linux. In this case, a Linux user will be allowed to access this directory and this user will be registered to this file also. And after you make this file, you need to have the permission 6 for four. Okay, now uh, if you finish that HD access, then you need to make a that HD password using like this HD password minus cm that HD password Linux. So using HD password, I will register this user to this file. And after that, permission 644. Testing my main domain www.chul.com and after that the username Linux then maybe the Apache will request ID and password from this file okay then okay here vi okay here username Linux okay here nine number 369 I configure like this home Linux www and here there are two options allow override and us compete the other options is depends on your choice okay then let's just start okay one more here I will log in Linux okay so here I have the www directory and here there are index file like this. Okay, then okay, can you find that ht access? Okay, I will read. So here like this also name Linux home directory or authentication type base 64 so if you read this file you can find the encoding method using base 64 and 
the password file for users who want to access this directory will be saved here. In my case, just I write down only Linux username. And of that permission, okay, like this. Okay, one more. HT password minus CM. In my case, username Linux. Linux one two three four. Linux one two three four. Okay, let's check. Okay, in my case, I add Linux user. Okay, then under permission six four four. Okay, so let's test. Restart. Okay, here index.html. Okay, here in my case, here and username Linux. Okay, can you find this kind of window? So here, username Linux, password. Linux one two three four. Okay, now I am successful to login in this directory. This is a HT access file. It's a kind of the directory authentications. Okay, now I finish second video and the third video I will start from start step eight. In step 8 and 9, I will explain about the web server log monitoring using web riser and AW status. Thank you for watching and see you next video.